Hi guys, my name is Tefania. Welcome to my channel. So today I thought we would relax, try out this Ulla Henriksen cold plunge pore mask and enjoy a glass of wine and you know, maybe you guys will get to know me a little bit more, tell you some stuff about me. So um, if you guys want to see how this applies and get to know me a little bit more, this should be a chill, relax. It's Friday afternoon and uh, yeah, I'm ready for the weekend. So. Keep watching if you guys want to see how this applies and how I think it works, if it's worth the 36 bucks. And if you guys want to get to know me a little bit more, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I really appreciate it. I upload three times a week and I would love it if you guys subscribe and become part of my little YouTube family. So without further ado, let's try out this mask. Alright guys, so I did want to talk a little bit about this before I apply it. It says apply an even layer to clean dry face, leave on for 15 minutes, add cool water to lather and rinse off. Follow with the Ole Henriksen, Ole Henriksen toner, serum, or moisturizer of your choice. Use two to three times a week. So this is supposedly going to deeply purify pores, reduce oil with clay and snow lotus extract. So Purifies and inst instantly diminishes the look of pores with an exhilarating chill. Inspired by the cold plunge, step off the Scandinavian sauna cycle. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, overall, it's supposed to reduce pores. So, I will get a little bit close up so you guys can see my face. Even though I hate this part when I'm editing it out. Like, I don't want to be this close to you guys. Um, but, only thing I have on my eyes right now is... I do have eyeshadow on, but no concealer or anything like that. My face is clean and pure. So um, I will apply this off camera and be right back. And we will just chit chat. So I'm going to use an e.l.f. brush. I don't know what brush this is. But it's just an e.l.f. small stipple brush. I like to use brushes to apply masks just because I don't feel like using my hands is sanitary. I don't know if anybody else feels that way. But I just like the experience of applying it with a brush. So. I'm going to apply it and be right back. All right guys, so this is how it looks applied. And I gotta say, not that it matters. It matters about skincare, but I love the color. Your Smurf dreams come true. It's so pretty. I don't know if that's weird, but I like it. I like it because of that. But I, I'll, I'll do the honest, you know, we'll see if it actually diminishes my pores. But um, anyways, as far as the way it applied, it, it was cooling, but it wasn't like, if you guys have tried like the Becca Hydra Mist, that's like cooling. Like this wasn't like necessarily like apply cold. It doesn't say to keep it in the fridge or anything like that. But just so you know, that way it's not like you think if you don't like cold things on your face, it's definitely not that cold. So let's set my timer on my phone. We got 15 minutes. So I'm going to ramble for a little bit. Um, let's talk a little bit about me. So. As far as things I did want to talk about first, actually, um, as far as wine goes, if you are a wine drinker, this Apothic Red, right? Apothic Red Winemaker's Blend from Costco is by far my favorite bottle of wine right now. So $7.99, can't beat that, and I really enjoy drinking it. And I am not a big wine drinker. I am not a big drinker in general, hence the baby glass size, because I'd be drunk after this, or halfway through. So this is about as much as I can handle, and um, yeah, I just don't, I don't drink. I can't, like shots, no way, no. But, for those of you that do, or want something, you know, recommendation, Costco. Anyways, the reason why I kept this on my eyes is because I am testing out some lashes. I know if you guys have watched my previous video, I'm trying to find a lash that I like to wear all day and not feel like I want to rip it off like a bra. So um, I got these from Flutter. They're the Timeless Lashes and I have to say that I am really enjoying these for, it's a little bit less than 10 bucks and you get three pairs. And I've had these on for seven hours and I don't feel anything. So if you're looking for a good lash, if you're a beginner like me or just want every day, the timeless ones from Flutter Lashes might be your best friend, and they're affordable, which is nice. So, 
anyways, a little bit about myself. Um, so I live in Arizona. Uh, I've been out here for like 10, 11 years now, maybe more. How old am I? I'm 27. I was about to say 29. I'm 27. So I'm 27. I moved out here when I was about 14. I grew up in Naples, Italy. My dad is Italian. My mom is American. Um, growing up there, I loved it. I don't think I would move back necessarily, but I love to go back and visit. So we try to do that every few years because my entire dad's side of the family does still live there. So the summer we got to go, my husband and I did a reception, a wedding reception there so that I could include my family that I grew up with. So, um, let's see, I have two sisters and then two older sisters. So I'm the youngest, not anymore. My parents actually adopted four kids last year, not last year, it seems it's a long time. They've adopted four kids, um, gosh, four years ago. So they have a 10, nine, eight and eight year old. So my family got a lot bigger. There's a long talk about. So I guess I'm one of seven now. Um, let's see what else about me. I am a personal trainer. I know I've mentioned that before. Um, hmm. Weird things about me. So not weird things, but just things. Right now I have an unhealthy obsession with some reality shows. Uh, it hasn't gone to Desperate, Desperate Housewives so far, so that's good. Uh, but I do love like Total Divas. I've been watching Jersey Shore because it just brings it back, you know? Like you have to watch it. I, I had to watch it and I still love it. So, um, and then now that my sister moved here, we are watching The Bachelor, The Bachelorette together. Um, but yeah, I watched Monday's episode and if you guys didn't watch that, she's got some duds. Like, I will insert a picture, but if someone had walked out of a cab with this jacket on, I would be like, done deal. Nope, not happening. I don't know if that makes me super shallow, but I don't know who dressed him to make him think that that would be a great first impression, but mm -mm. I can never be The Bachelor. I'm like way too harsh on people. I'm harsh on myself too. But there were certain guys that I was like, no, like what are you wearing? Like no, I'm not a bow tie person either. I like ties. And then, you know, the guy who brought the chocolate cake, I'm like, he's a keeper. The guy who brings you chocolate on the first date, like, you keep him around. So my top three picks are the chocolate guy and the the guy that's a virgin, the one who owns like the, the foundation, the, you know, what are those things called? Like the, the mm, Cody, Colton, Colton, there we go. There's his name. So I pick him, I pick the chocolate guy, and then there was a guy who had a Harry Potter tattoo and I was like, I don't know if I like him, but he has a Harry Potter tattoo and I love Harry Potter. So that's another thing about me. I love teenage books. I don't uh, read adult books because I don't wanna be depressed. Like I don't need to read a depressing book. I, it's just not enjoyable for me. So I stick to the teenage fiction books. So Harry Potter, like Hunger Games, Divergent, all that kind of stuff, I still read those. I don't know if that makes me a huge nerd or immature, but uh, I don't think I'm ever gonna not do that. And it's kind of cool because I have that, I read them and my sisters read them and my mom reads them. We all read them at the same time. So it's like something to talk about. So right now we're reading, I think it's called like Dangerous Mind, Dangerous Minds, not Dangerous, Dangerous something. I don't know what it's called, but it's a really good series. So if you're interested, I will let you know if you like Harry Potter and those type of books. I think they're making a movie of it that's coming out and it's about like teenage, like pretty much like X-Men type thing. So anyways, I'll stop rambling about that. I thought I had my glass of wine in my hand. Okay, what else about me? I have a little scar here. It looks like a dimple. I know you guys have seen my close-ups. So if you guys can see that, I got, uh, I broke my jaw about three years ago and had to have it wired shut. That is a story time in itself, but that is the worst injury I've ever had in my life. And it left me a nice little dent on the side of my face. Not a big deal now, I've gotten used to it. Um, little things like that don't bother me as much as they used to. Like um, my birthmark is on my behind. 
and I was super insecure about wearing bikinis and stuff like that because there's no way to like hide it and I just kind of got over it like I had to compete in a thong obviously I do bikini competitions and I was so sure the tan was gonna cover it I was kind of stressing out and I was like the tans gonna cover it perfectly like that is super dark I'll be good and it did not cover it and I was just like okay I guess I guess I just gotta it's just gonna be fine they're gonna remember my butt when there's like 15 of us 30 of us 50 of us on stage so that's how I looked at it and then it was funny because I did a photo shoot a fitness shoot like a few weeks later and the guy was like oh I can airbrush that out and I was like that's part of my body like a big part of my body everyone would know it's not there so you know I say if you have something like just try to get as comfortable as you can with it now it's just it's just there it's just a mark skin is skin you know same thing with stretch marks all that stuff try not to be insecure about that because everybody's got them so uh, 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 let's see my favorite animal is elephants I can't own one so I have two dogs and I am watching my sister's dog that is in Iraq so we have three big dogs right now I have a Weimaraner a pit and a what is she she's a golden doodle that's what she is so full house right now a lot of barking a lot of awful licking noises in the middle of the night which that's like oh, scratch board like I hate that sound hate it like I can't I I'm a very light sleeper so that stuff drives me absolutely insane um trying to think of what else to tell you guys I don't know um I watch a lot of shows which is really embarrassing but I do I love like Walking Dead type shows I like a lot of like ER type ish shows like I've been watching Code Black and 911 is that what it's called I don't know but um any of those shows pretty much any doctor show I'm always like ooh, when we were gonna watch that um, so if you have any show recommendations let me know chances are I've seen it but you know I still appreciate the recommendation or books so what else I I think that's pretty much it as far as like stuff stuff that I'm wanting to tell you guys for right now I don't want to give too much away um, let me know if you guys have any questions for me though as far as makeup I have not been into makeup that long actually I grew up not really wearing much my high school days I think I wore eyeliner and that was pretty much it like that is all I did eyeliner and on a good day maybe mascara but uh, I kind of when I got into competing I was just too cheap to want to pay for someone to do my makeup so I just learned taught myself how to do it and um, then kind of became obsessed with it after that so um, yeah I think makeup's a learning process it's artistic I just I love to do it you know sometimes I feel like my mom is very like you know you don't have to always look so nice like you could do this or you could do that and I'm just like I don't do it for other people I do it for myself I make myself feel good and I think that's the purpose like I don't think you should be doing makeup or anything really um, unless it's for you so that's just my two cents um hmm. all right I could ramble so much about The Bachelor right now but I'm gonna try not to I don't know how many of you guys watch it so there's no point but you know if you do we could do updates and discuss things that are driving me absolutely nuts like all their job descriptions like who does half the shit that they say they do like entrepreneur to me means they probably live with their parents that's what that means unemployed living with their parents just on that show and then there's a lot of stupid personal trainers which I'm like I'm a personal trainer so I feel bad for saying that but I'm just still like meh Ugh. like no don't pick him so I don't know <laughs> all right I am gonna check the timer I am going to wipe this off my face I have two minutes left so as far as the way it's feeling it's not tightening like I like glam glow kind of like you can't really move your face and you feel like you're gonna like crack it if you like smile but this is just comfortable like uh, I can do whatever and it's not feeling super tight so I do like that and I'll say this is my first like actual mask that I've like purchased I usually just get like the one-time use ones 
Um, I haven't found one that I'm like in love with. I do, I did buy the Drunk Elephant one and I haven't opened it. That is another thing about me. I am horrible if I spend a lot of money on clothes, shoes, pretty much anything, um, I like save it. It's like something that doesn't get opened or worn. Like I'll have a dress like that I'll wear and Nick's like, oh my God, Nick's my husband by the way. Um, is that new? And I'm just like, no, I got it four years ago. I just finally decided that it's time to wear it. Uh, is that weird? Does anybody else kind of do that with stuff? Cause I do it with a lot of stuff. Like I'll just be like one day, I'm gonna find the perfect occasion to wear those shoes. And a lot of them are not worn. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, same with, same with products, same with pretty much anything. As far as eating, I love to eat. I know a lot of people say that, but I truly am, there's nothing I won't try. Like I will try any kind of food. Um, and I think that's just part of growing up where I grew up, that just weird things were on the table all the time and we never thought they were weird. So moving to the States, that was definitely something that I was like, what do you mean you don't eat fish? Or what do you mean that like, why won't you eat the octopus? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Like it just, I could never like marry a picky eater. That was something my husband, it stood out right away where I was like, he's not picky. That's good. I can bring him home and my dad will be super happy. So, um, but yeah, I, I love to eat and that's something I love to share with clients. Like I'm constantly just like, oh my gosh, they have this new snack at this place. You need to go get it. Like it's so good and it's healthy. So I am a healthier person, but I definitely have moderation, obviously. So yeah, um, I don't know. I don't really have anything else that's, that's crazy. Or maybe I'm just too weird to like think that things are weird. I already told you guys, I never have my nails done. I did buy fake nails. We'll see how those work from Walmart. I'm gonna give it a go. But I just don't have the patience to sit in a chair. That is something about me. The, when I go to the hairdresser, when I go get nails done, when I've tried to do eyelash extensions, I don't have the patience for any of those things. Like after about 15 minutes, it's, I'm never like, you would never know, but like in my head, I'm just like, I'm done. I'm done. I gotta get out of here. I have stuff to do. Like this is not relaxing to me. Like I just, the only thing that's relaxing to me is like a massage. Other than that, I kind of go nuts in my mind. Like I just want to jump off the table. So when I was getting eyelash extensions, like I'd fall asleep for about 20 minutes. And then when I woke up, my eyes would start watering so bad because I was just like, I gotta get off this table, like, please hurry up. I just, I don't wanna, I don't, I don't know. I just get like super, and that's what's having three dogs. It's like, they just bark all the time. So, just so you know. All right guys, that is the timer. I am gonna go wash this off. I'm gonna, before I throw my phone. Uh -huh. So, and alarms, alarms drive me absolutely insane. I pick up my phone some mornings and throw it. I have to like, if I have to be up super early, I set my phone across the room so that uh, I don't shut it off. I am not a morning person in general. So anyways, I'm going to go wash this off with warm water. We're going to come back. We're going to look at my face. I'm going to tell you how I feel. And um, yep, I'll be right back. If I'm not back in five minutes, just wait longer. All right, guys. So I am back. I washed my face. And I will say it does look a little bit less red. To be honest, I feel like it looks a little bit more awake. Um, it feels really nice and soft. But I will say, I feel like sometimes when you watch reviews on masks, it's kind of like, you won't know until you try it. Everybody has different skin and they have different standards. Like I, I wouldn't say I have a lot of favorite masks. I like the Tatcha mask a lot. The like face sheet one, the hydrating one. But that one's 12 bucks a piece, so that's like a one in six months type of buy for me. Like, I don't buy that often. Um, but it's very hydrating. This, I really do like the way my skin feels. There was no tingling, anything like that, which some people like the tingling thing, and they're like, in their head, they're like, oh, this is working, you know, because my face is tingling. Or at least that's how I feel. But, um, 
I think for 36 bucks, you do get a good amount of products. This is three ounces. So, I mean, I don't know yet. We'll have to test it out more, but on first application, I love the color. I love the way it felt. I like that I didn't feel like I couldn't move my face. Um, and then just to being completely honest, it's like, I feel like skincare sometimes is more for the experience. And I had a really good experience with it. Like it applied smoothly. It, the color was just fun and it just reminded me of summer and it's just kind of a fun product to use and I definitely felt relaxed and nice and you know that's just what I look for in a mask what's gonna make me feel good so um, if you've tried it let me know if you're gonna pick it up let me know but yeah I mean it's it's too hard to be like everything looks amazing like you guys can see up close as far as my pores I don't have giant pores, but I do feel like it definitely did something. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like it did nothing and I just spent 36 bucks for no reason. I will continue to use it. I do really like his products. Um, I've been using quite a few lately, so I'm really interested to see how it changes my skin. And then I'm gonna go see a dermatologist because my face is kind of, the pigment on it is just weird right now, which, it's kind of happened to me since I've been a kid and it goes away and then it comes back and it goes away and comes back so I'll be an adult about it and actually go see somebody um, but yeah that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of just chill relax you know getting to know me type video um, if you have any questions or you know I could always do a story time about you know about this whole situation now that you guys can actually see it um, cause that's a fun one, but anyways, if you enjoyed this type of video, please hit that like button and please subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And it lets me know what type of videos you guys like to watch. And that is it. I hope you guys have a re really good rest of your weekend and enjoy it. I got through this video without a nip slip, which I am super proud of cause I love the robes, but I was a little worried, but I was like, I'm not going to put a bra on to like ruin my facial mask experience so uh anyways have a good rest of your weekend i hope you guys enjoyed this i know i really like to film it it was really fun for me and i would love to get to go you guys i don't know why i can't talk see wine a few sips done uh but i'd love to know something about each one of you so leave it in the comments down below and i look forward to getting to know you guys just as much as you are for me and i will see you in my next video bye guys Oh, I had an accent. Oh, Jesus.